What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another New World video. Today guys, I wanted to uh, clear up some confusion because I feel like may maybe this is partially my fault, you know, with my clickbait thumbnails <laughs> and stuff. Um, but it seems that there's a lot of people in the community that are looking at fresh start servers as they are as, like they're full server wipes. So I want to talk about a few things in this video. I want to talk about the difference between a fresh start server and a full server wipe. And I also want to talk about uh, when I think all of this is going to happen. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. Now, looking at a fresh start server versus a overall wipe. An overall wipe is where they wipe everything, right? Everybody starts from scratch, right? Uh, there is no remnant of anything that you've ever done in the game. It's basically like a brand new game. Uh, now, I will say this is absolutely not going to happen. Now, you know, obviously some people would be cool with it. Um, but naturally, I, like I'd imagine that Amazon would never want to create more problems, you know, the necessary, uh, when they can just create new servers. And that's exactly what a fresh start server is. So looking at a fresh start server, a fresh start server essentially is just a brand new server, like alongside of, um, the old servers. And with the fresh start server, what will happen is they'll create a brand new server. Everyone will start from scratch. It will have the new level one to 25 and all the new XP updates and town board nerfs and all that crap. Right. And then transfers will be disabled because if transfers weren't disabled, then it would defeat the purpose of it being a fresh start server. Now, that's not to say that they won't release new servers that are default, so you can still transfer to, hence why they opened up like Eden and Tirnanog and all that stuff. But I'd imagine they'll probably open up a number of servers. So a certain number of fresh start servers per region, right? And then they'll open up a certain number of default servers per region. So I think whenever they make the announcement, it's going to be really, really important that of course uh they list which servers are which so everyone knows the difference it's also going to be really important to you to pay attention to what server you think you're going to uh or where you're going to start so you know and there's not a big mix up between you and your friends or the people that you plan to play with now you're like d well they haven't really officially confirmed it yet i get that uh, but we've had a data mine if you guys haven't seen the video yet yes i know data mines are subject to change However, I mean, it looks like they're building an entire event around the entire fresh start, you know, thing. So with that being said, um, when do I think that it's going to happen? Well, as you guys know, September 28th, uh, or for those of you guys who don't know, September 28th is the one year anniversary. Um, now shouts out to the stream. Um, <laughs> they were talking to me and they were like, well, what if, what if they did it this time? Right. You know, around the one year anniversary, just because like, you know, Guaranteed, they're probably going to do an event for the one year anniversary. So, you know, it got me to think, well, I was like, well, hell yeah, that makes a lot of sense, right? Because if we break it down, let's say they do a one year anniversary event. Let's say they call it Return to Eternum, okay? And let's say they start the event on like the 27th or the 26th or whatever. And then it starts, they they launch the first start servers with the, uh, you know, the, one, the new 1 to 25 experience and the game overhaul, so on and so forth. And then everybody gets to come back, streamers or whatever, gets to promote the event. Obviously, there's going to be a ton of videos. The hype is going to be real. And it's also going to give players the time to basically uh, level up their characters to 60. Now, during this time, they'll probably do cosmetics. It'll probably be kind of like a little mini marketing campaign. They're most likely, most likely, I'm assuming there will be like Twitch drops and things of that nature. And then as things continue to move forward, then I think what they'll do is exactly what they did in the public test realm. In the public test realm, what we had available in the beginning was just the 1 to 25 experience and basically the overall revamp with like the crafting changes and stuff like that. Then after I think it was a week or two of the uh, 1 to 25 experience, then they released Brimstone Sands plus the Halloween event. So just imagine with me for a second that they started doing the fresh start service September 28th. Okay. Now after two weeks, we're looking at getting into the second week of October, which would be optimal prime real estate for them to start the Halloween event. Okay. Which we know the Halloween event starts on the 18th due to the data mine, unless obviously they change it by a few days. And let's just assume that the Halloween event and Brimstone Sands potentially launches at the same time. That would give fresh start servers ample time to get caught up. So everybody's experiencing Brimstone Sands at the exact same time. It also decreases the workload of Amazon basically having to run an event, 
and two major updates basically you know all at the same time which i'd imagine could be a nightmare especially if anything goes wrong they can split up the content uh you know adjust or address bugs as necessary especially if people are having issues transferring or anything like that and then i think it'll be smooth sailing what that then does is puts us in, puts us in position for the halloween event which we close out november 1st or 11th or somewhere around there um i can't remember the date of mine specifically and then which then uh you know we'll be into the next ptr system which i'm assuming they'll probably be testing the loadouts that we also saw in the data mine and potentially even leaderboards whatever the hell that means okay now from there they can continue to streamline and refine content and release new patches which is going to take us into november for thanksgiving and turculon which i'd imagine will have some quality of life improvements i think the rewards will probably be revamped and improved and then that of course will then lead us in december for the holiday event and i wouldn't be surprised to see some kind of feature that we didn't expect outside of loadouts and stuff of that nature but i think they have a loaded you know few months uh especially as we move into the new year and i'd imagine they're probably trying to be aggressive uh with these updates just due to the fact that 2023 is such a ridiculous year for game releases but that gives them a window uh, basically up to March to really just knock it out of the park with new world. So um, I really just wanted to take a little bit of time and kind of break down like my whole thought process, my predictions, uh, things that I'm thinking are going to happen exactly with, you know, the update flow and, uh, you know, see what you guys think. If you guys have any thoughts on the matter, let me know in the comment box below. I mean, ultimately, we're just going to have to wait and see, but I'm super duper 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 hype uh about the fresh server event uh, apparently it's called return to eternum you know according to the data mine um but we'll just have to wait and see but um, with that being said guys that's all i wanted to cover today if you guys got any questions comments concerns definitely let me know in the comment box below and i'll be happy to assist and we'll see you guys in the next video peace